Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. We were forced to leave Ajo, and we've gone up north towards Flagstaff. Well, we came up here to Flagstaff because Ajo in southern Arizona was just getting way too hot for our Pacific Northwest blood. Uh, it was going to be in the hundreds and so we made it up to Flagstaff and found some really great boondocking spots up here uh, where it's much more comfortable at about 70 degrees. Just a few flies. And the bonuses we learned what FUTS means, F-U-T-S. So we'll explain what that is at the end and maybe some of you that have gone through Flagstaff will know what it means. <laughs> anyway, we wanted to talk about the boondocking we found here. Uh, this is a really great spot. So this was recommended to us by our friend Gary, one of our quarantine family, and it's off of Forest Service Road 237. So uh, it's got really great Verizon cell, cell service. I'm not sure about the other ones. Midweek, it is super quiet. There's only a couple people here right now. Uh, weekends are another story. It's, it is close to Flagstaff, so then you do get a lot of weekenders uh, with loud generators and loud music and the such. So we're hoping to, to head on the other side of Flagstaff to another boondocking spot and see how that is on the weekends. It's a lot more spread out. So this is a Forest Service Road 237. Like I said, uh, the, spot, the sites are very unlevel in this spot there's four different uh, it's called designated dispersed camping so it has a very much a campground feel to it but it is free and what do you think about this campground I actually like it there's some nice little hikes there's a, a river and lots of pools there's places to go if you are hot that's why it's so popular on the weekends for locals there's also a is it a county park? Yeah, just up uh, road that we Fort, really enjoyed. Yeah, Fort Tuttle County Park is just north, about eight miles, and lots of good hiking trails up there, as well as disc golf. And uh, there one, was cross country horse mm -hmm. jumping, and there's also a um, dirt, I can't, dirt bike. Oh, mountain bike. Mountain bike. Like a mountain bike over course, there, yeah. which has a bunch of hills and a bunch of other stuff. So. And the car that just went by, actually they're using this uh, spot. So the 100 area for this uh, camping is a spot where a lot of locals come and, and park for day use. The other three spots, uh, one of them is better for tent camping and the other two are real nice and have some really nice flat level spots and a lot less uh, day, use or day use. And I will put the link down below to the coordinates of where we're at here. So some people, when they look at this on the map, it looks like there's access from the east. I don't recommend that. Um, I'll insert a photo, I think, here as to what the road can look like. There's a switchback and it's very- It's uh, too rough. Str straight up yeah. on one side and straight down on the other with lots of big, huge rocks. It's great if you have a high clearance vehicle, but I would never take my RV down it. No, and it's a great spot if you have dirt bikes or ATVs or mountain bikes even for uh, getting out and recreating. Yeah. This is such a beautiful sight we had. Look at the view. And one thing we can definitely agree on, we love the Sonoran Desert. It was so gorgeous, but the second we got into the trees, we both are like, yeah, we're definitely tree and mountain kind of girls. Feels good to be back in the forest. So this is, uh, we're going to include some, some of the rest of the video, some of the stuff we've been doing around Flagstaff. Okay, so we decided to... Uh, go for a hike today from the campground and from the campground is about eight miles or so to the Fort Tuttle County Park. I forgot the name of it, had to look at the sign. <laughs> and we're doing the Highlands Trail. It's a four mile loop and this is the most nondescript trailhead we've ever seen in our lives. We had to use our all trails map all blown up to try and find it because it's like, whoo, where is it? The trail, is it? <laughs> the trail itself isn't bad. It's just trying to find where you enter it. So if you come over here to the amphitheater, there's a welcome sign and just to the right here is, you can, it's kind of covered with needles. 
um, and they've done some construction work here so you can't really see that there's the trail starts right through there anyway we found it now we're in the right spot so we're gonna go for a hike Coming right at me. What? F***ing snake. Where? Right here. It just came right in front of me. And it went down in there. Yeah, it went into a hole. Is it a rattlesnake? No. I don't think so. Okay, sorry for the language. <laughs> I hate snakes and one was coming right towards me as I was filming Rhonda. I'm like, ah! <laughs> did I just like totally... You move? totally stepped right over it. I did? Yes. Jesus. Okay, so that so freaked so me out. <laughs> God! Ah! It's going from shadows to the sun. Okay, I'm putting the damn camera down so I can see the snakes in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Our very first trail sign! <laughs> okay, I don't really mind snakes that much, but this one was slithering right towards me and it totally freaked me out. <laughs> And she's still laughing at me. Not nice. I am not laughing at you. I just think you're f cute. You're cute. <laughs> when you get off. <laughs> <laughs> but look, a trail sign. <laughs> Do you hear that? Me neither. It's the sound of silence. Oh, we moved over to this uh, other Forest Service spot north of Flagstaff. There are, have been, we've been here for a week. There have been absolutely no loud contractor generators, a uh, few ATVs, but just on the weekends and not bad because we're far enough off the road and uh, no loud music. So I'll put the coordinates to where we're at. Uh, in the comments uh, in the description below but we've loved it here there are miles and miles and miles of uh, places to walk and there's a real great spot uh, just past here where you go up and you're in a clearing and you get awesome views of Mount Humphreys and the surrounding area uh, cell phone service here is a little bit iffy with Verizon but with our WeBoost it was doable at least we're about 20 minutes from the Safeway uh, north side of Flagstaff for grocery shopping and you can go to Speedway. A couple of Speedways around town have free RV dump and free water. Other than that, uh, today is going to be our last day in Arizona. Boo hoo hoo, we've been here for four months but uh, hopefully we have exciting things coming up in our future that we'll share very very soon. We have one last hurrah before we leave Arizona today. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And that is Horseshoe Bend. There wasn't that many people in the parking lot and they're not charging a fee right now during a COVID-19 crisis. And we're on our way out of the state and it was right on the way. So easy parking with the RV. I think even when it's uh, busy here that it's, they have a lot of uh, RV and bus parking. So good parking here. But I'm so excited. How about you? It's just gorgeous. Just oh, walks, it's amazing. Look at this.
Woo, this ends our Arizona trip on a high note with the lockdown and the virus. All the national parks and the national monuments have been closed down, but uh, Horseshoe Bend is not. Well, the trail is super wide, so it's easy to do the social distancing here. And oh my God, it's amazing. So it's so nice to be able to actually go out and see something uh, instead of hanging around the, the trailer and just doing local trails all the time. So yay. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's, amazing. it's worth the walk. It's not that big of a walk. But... No, it's amazing. So anyway, we'll see you later. Um, until the next adventure. Okay, Rhonda, what's a futz? So you waited all this time and you're wondering, what is a futz? Well, it actually stands for uh, Flagstaff um, Urban Trail System. So when we were hiking, it says, you know, be a be a futz. And I'm like, I don't want to be a futz. And Angie's like, You're starts futz. laughing. And she's like, that stands for, as I said, what it stood I'm like, oh no, I couldn't possibly be that. Of course, I was joking. I, I came up with lots of things that F-U-T-S could stand for. I and none of did. them said Flagstaff. <laughs> Can't take her anymore. <laughs>